everyone, this is Lynn Wilson at Lynn Wilson Originals here in Mills River, North Carolina. And today I'm going to do a little bit of blending with some neutrals. Um, I've started on this cabinet here and the colors that I'm using are Dixie Belle's Mud Puddle and Sandbar. And the reason I picked these colors is because I refinished the fronts of the drawers and those are the colors that seem to stand out for me, particularly, you know, this brownish color. It really reminds me of Mud Puddle. So, so I had actually stripped the fronts of these drawers as well, um, doors, to match the drawers. But it was really weird. Um, they didn't come out the same color. And so I had already put the stain on. So I used a coat of gator hide to cover that up before I started painting because I didn't want to paint onto an oil-based product. So I've got my, when we do a blend, you want to have several brushes handy. And I'm going to just mist it, mist my brushes. It doesn't have to be really wet or anything, but you do want it kind of damp. I don't know how many brushes I'm going to use. So this middle color here is the sandbar. Gosh, my sandbar is really thick. It's kind of chilly down here. And so my paint has become very, very thick. Actually, let's see, I'll do this one first because I think that's easier to see. Right now I'm just kind of getting my colors laid out, not worrying too much about blending because I need a second coat on here. And this is oak, so it's very uh, porous, it's a lot of trying to get it into all those grooves or grain rather of the wood. Um, so now I'm just going to try to blur this edge a little bit by taking my light paint and pulling it up into my dark. working around to blur the lines. You don't need a whole, once you get your coverage, you don't need a whole lot of paint, extra paint to blend. Um, so now I'm gonna pull my dark color <clears throat> into my <clears throat> into my light. <clears throat> and as you <clears throat> as you're using your brushes, oh, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. As you're using your brushes, the paint will transfer. So I try to keep like a paper towel handy so that <clears throat> I, my brushes stay kind of clean for the, or, um, you know, my brushes don't get muddied by the two colors. So I actually want more, I want the dark to just be on the very outside. So I'm gonna have to pull my, lighter color out further. Now I'm just going to use a, a 
different brush. Neither one of my colors are on this brush, and I'm just going to try to blend and erase that line, doing little circles and kind of hash back and forth, hash tags, hashtags, hash strokes. And a lot of times I find too, as, as it dries, it seems to blend better. The other thing that I'm thinking of doing, the other thing I'm thinking of doing is maybe putting these on the on the front of the drawer of the doors. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my second drawer door. I'm having a problem with drawer and door today. Uh, again, make sure that <clears throat> when I start off, I uh, try to get my brushes so I don't have a lot of the different colors on each brush. So I'll start by putting in some more of the sand block. I usually like to do like a three color blend. So I've got lighter, middle, and dark, but I haven't been able to figure out a dark that I like with this. I've tried pine cone, which looked, it was too warm and too <clears throat> orange-ish. And then I tried coffee bean and it was really dark, it, it read black. <clears throat> so I really wish I had chocolate on hand, but I don't. All right, so now <clears throat> I am gonna put a little bit of water on this. I'm using my misting bottle, which is, um, these are great because they don't spray droplets of water. They just spray kind of a fine mist. You can see that. Ooh, there, spray on my screen. Um, which, <clears throat> if you spray water, you can get like water marks on your paint. So I'm just now, let's see, I'm gonna grab my light brush. And I'm gonna try to pull some of the light <clears throat> into the dark. And I have a brush here for my blending. This is a really nice brush for blending. All these are nice brushes. They're Dixie Belle and they're synthetic. They're really soft, but um, this one is the oval medium. And I like how I can do circles with it to try to erase that line. And it really is just a light touch when you're blending. You can kind of see where the, the old dark finish is showing through. And usually I would prime this first. I generally like to prime. I don't know, I was just in a hurry. <laughs> I just wanted to get doing something. I wanted to paint. Um, I wanted to play with these colors because I just got them. Um, and I've been wanting to try to blend the, the mud puddle and the sand bar. So I got them just in the mail a few days ago and was a little impatient. So now as I go back to this side, I'm going to wipe off the brushes I've been using. Again, make sure that I try to keep the colors pure. And they've got a little bit dry since I was wiping them on the paper towel. So I'll go back to my mud puddle. You can see different paints have different consistencies. This is the mud, uh, I'm sorry, this is the sandbar. Can you see how thick that is? I know part of that is because I'm down here where it's cold. But this is the uh, the mud puddle, and it's not quite as thick. It's just different colors.
I'm gonna let this dry and come back and look at it and see. I expect that this is gonna fade and blend a lot better than it's looking right now. I did put my link in, um, and if you don't have a local retailer, you can shop at that link. It gets delivered to your door. And um, I also have a YouTube channel. I would love it if you would subscribe. It's Lynn Wilson Originals. Thanks a lot, and hope you guys have a great afternoon. I really do appreciate your watching. Bye-bye.